Okay. Has everyone have the answer for those three parts of this problem? So what are the positive divisor for 20? Um, four and eight. Four and eight. Or you can type it in the chat room. Type your answer. Let's see the chat. Okay. Oh, and okay. so, uh, <coughs> so Sophie, for for this question, we want to list all possible positive divisors oh. for twenty. Okay. So twenty. So if we we start from one, it. It's just so one, two, four, five, ten, and twenty. So there are six of them. Okay. So then how about thirty? What are the positive divisor for thirty? So when it's uh, listing this question, make sure that uh, your answer is start from one. And the last number should be the number itself. Then we just need to fill in some number in between. One, yeah. two, um, four, five, and ten. And I think so. No, 30 for 30. Oh. Is 30 divisible by four? I was talking about num um, A. Uh, 20? Yeah. OK. Okay, I think uh, most people get this. Right? So for 20 is a 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. For 30 is a 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So if we look at this two list, so the common one are 1, 2, Right, five, ten. That's all. Right. So there are four of them. Those are the common uh, divisors of twenty and thirty. Okay, Christian, stop. Okay, let's. Uh, So composite numbers, they are just uh, non-prime numbers, right? So that means that we can find a divisor other than one and itself. So this, uh, so this is a tricky question. Huh? So find the smallest composite number not divisible by two. Okay, need to think about all those questions. This is a, those, this is a, a little tricky question. Need to understand what it's asking for. Okay. The smallest composite number. So four is a composite number. Four is a, the smallest composite number, but it's a divisible by two. It's a two by two. Two times two is four. Okay. Then, uh, six is also a composite number, but it's can is divisible by two. So what's the, the answer? Uh, I think uh, someone. So uh, so change your username to your real name so that we know who you are. So the the, the answer is correct. Uh, type nine. So W Lu four. Who is the W Lu four? It doesn't let you rena rename yourself. It does. It does, yeah. But he probably, yeah, he prob he, he okay, turned it uh, off. I turned it off. Uh, uh, 
Okay, now you can rename yourself. Just, just uh, don't change it. Nine is uh, the correct answer. So nine is a composite number. It's not divisible by two, and it's also the smallest. Uh, so we can we can do a try and error from starting from the smallest composite number, right? Four, six, eight, and then the next number is nine. For four, six, eight, they are all divisible by two. But uh, we can think about this question in a different way, right? So the smallest composite number not divisible by two, that means it's uh, divisible by some number. What's the number? So it's divisible by a prime number. Right? We are looking for a prime number. That prime number, then it has to be a three. So we were looking for the composite number. It's uh, divisible by three, but not by two. If it's a composite number, divisible by three, but not by two. That means that is a divisible, we want the smallest, right? It can be divisible by three and five, but three times five is 15, that's not smallest. So we want to be smallest, that means that three times three, so which is nine. So three times three is the smallest composable number, not divisible by two. So Given the same logic, so work on the next question, part B, smallest composite number not divisible by either two or three. So Aiden said the, the answer is 21. Uh, is 21 the answer for part B? So need to think about, so 21 is divisible by three, so it's not the answer. We, we are looking for a composite number that is not divisible by two or three. 23 is not a composite number, 23 is a prime number. So Kevin, is 16, 16 is divisible by two. So 16 is not. So 25, I think uh, a few people say the answer is 25, Aiden. And so who is uh, Ibo? Can rename yourself? So Sophie as well as Dinsia. 25 is the correct answer. So, do you notice uh, this uh, pattern? So when it's a uh, smallest composite number, then not divisible, uh, not divisible by two or three. That means uh, we are looking for a composite number that is divisible by the next prime number. So the next prime number after two and three is five. So we are looking for the composite number divisible by five, but not divisible by two, two and three. That means divisible by five or seven, but we, but we don't want seven because five times seven, 35, which is a, a composite number not divisible by two or three, but it is bigger than the number we are looking for. So we are looking for a number five times five, which is 25. Okay, so now you know the, notice the pattern. So what's uh, the answer for part C? Smallest composite number not divisible by two, three or five. Okay, Kevin, 29 is uh, not a composite number. We are looking for a composite number. So Cynthia and Sean, 49. 
So others, uh, are you guys still thinking? Is the 49 the correct answer? Wait, um, let me see. So Aiden and Sean and Cynthia, they posted uh, 49. Okay, so we are looking for the next prime number after two, three, and five, right? Because we don't want the composite number that divisible by two, three, and five. We want it divisible by the next prime number, which is seven. So we want the composite number divisible by seven itself only. So that means seven squared. So 49 is the correct answer for part C. Okay, so now we notice that this pattern. For the prime number P, find the smallest composite number that has no prime divisor less than P. So what's the answer for part D? Okay, everyone get the question on part D? So we are looking for the smallest composite number that has no prime divisor less than P. So if a P is two, no. Actually, no. In the first part, uh, the P is a three. So it's not less than, that means uh, including P. So it's okay to find a prime number, a divisor for P. So what's the correct answer? Okay, I guess uh, nobody has uh, the answer. So what's the pattern here? So the, the first part, the P is actually three, right? So you want to find out smallest composite number that has no prime divisor less than three. And the second one is a five, the P is a five. Want to find out smallest composite number that has no prime divisor less than five. But the five is okay for this part B. And then part C, the P is a seven. So part A is a P is a three, part B, P is a five, part C, P is a seven. So you need notice uh, that what are our answer for A, B, and C, the answer. And then we just want to generalize for any prime number find the smallest composite number that has no prime divisor less than P. So what's the answer? Now we are looking for an expression in terms of P. So it's an expression in terms of P, not in any number. So, so in part A, P is a three. So the answer is a three square. In part B, the P is a five. And the answer is a five square. For part C, P is a seven. The answer is seven square. So for this one, we generalize P. So the answer is a P square. So the answer for part D is a P square. Everyone get it? Okay, you guys have been quiet. I think I have unmute everyone. You guys are not talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What are you guys doing? Is the one even pay attention? Yeah. I am. Okay. All right, uh, let's uh, move on. So, okay, this is a world problem. Okay, you need everyone to read this uh, world problem. It's a little tricky. So Mike has uh, 24 red balls and 36 green balls that he places it into several boxes. We don't know how many boxes. He just placed those balls into boxes. But we know each box contains the same number of balls. And there are at least two balls in each box. But if all the balls in any box are the same color, so what are the possible number of balls in each box? So we want to find out what are the possible number of balls in each box that will satisfy all those restrictions. Right? One, each box have the same number of bar, have the same number of balls in each box. And two, there are at least two balls in each box. And three, they all have the same color. So those three restrictions you put in into this uh, um, condition. So how do we distribute the 24 red balls and 36 green balls into those boxes? So So Aiden posted it two, three, four, six, and twelve. Is uh, the answer. So need everyone to think about this problem. So what are we trying to solve here? Okay. So the first step, let me give a hint. Okay. So the first step is uh, someone put in the annotation. Um, please uh, stop using the annotation. Uh, so uh, how to clear disable annotation. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we need to turn this world problem into a math problem, right? So since the number of balls in each box is the same, then that means uh, the number of balls in each uh, box must be a uh, the, divided of both 24 and 36. So it's divisible, the number must be divisible to the 24 and 36 because we need to evenly distribute those uh, red balls and green balls into those boxes. Okay. Now, the, so once we understand this the question, then the goal is to find the positive common divisors of 24 and 36 that is greater than one because they said it has at least two balls in each box. So we want to greater than one. So now given that can everyone solve this problem?
So we want to find out the common positive divisor that are 24 and 36 are greater than one. So what are the? So other than um, Aiden, uh, does it, anyone else have an answer? Okay, you guys have been very quiet today. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay, I have mine. Okay, and everyone get the same answer. So two, three, four, six, and 12. So we list the positive divisor of 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. And then we list the positive divisor of 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Then we look at the, the common one that is greater than one. So there are 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And everyone get the correct answer. Good job. Okay. So uh, the next topic, I think everyone has learned this uh, concept, uh, greatest uh, common divisor or GCD. Right? Among all the common divisor of a group of integers, we call the largest one the greatest uh, common divisor. Uh, GCD is also known as a, a GCF, a greatest common factor. Yeah. So, just uh, like the exercise that we did, right? So the those uh, we list uh, those uh, common divisor of twenty four and thirty six, two, three, four, six, twelve. Then what's the GCD of 24 and 36? Anyone? 12. 12. Yeah. yeah. Just look at the common one, the largest one, which is 12. Okay. So let's uh, do the next slide. So what's the GCD of 12 and 18? So we want to find out first uh, the common divisor of 12 and 18 and then find out the largest one. Okay, I have mine. Okay, you can shout out the number. Oh, it type six. It. Six. Six. I think everyone get it. The right six. Okay. All right. So you list the common. You list for each of the number twelve. The positive divisor one two three four six twelve and eighteen and one two three six nine eighteen. Then the common one are one, two, three, and six. So the largest one is the six. So the GCD of 12 and 18 is a six. Okay, 
I know we are already 12 o'clock. Uh, um, let's, uh, so we, we took a five minute break. Uh, let's uh, take uh, another five minute break. Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. That's what we did for our Chinese class. Yeah. No, five minutes. 10. We, you already uh, took the five minutes. We did minutes. five minutes, then we'll leave earlier. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's uh, do this. Uh, it's uh, twelve o two right now. Let's uh, take a break for eight minutes. Let's um, uh, resume back at twelve ten. How about that? All right, fine. Uh, All right, fine. Okay. So I need to. I fine. everyone the uh, lock. I'm going to stop this one so that we won't encounter the the forty minute restriction. Uh, so I need everyone to leave the meeting and then lock back in. Bye. All ten. Okay. All right. I'll see you in eight minutes.